Fun English time. Listen to the story and repeat it. Listen carefully. Fairy Lily and the Magical Candy. In a small village, there lived a fairy named Lily. Lily had the ability to make special candies. These candies held magical powers. Every morning, Lily would make candies in her little house in the woods. The candies were rainbow colored. Lily gave these candies to the children of the village. When the children ate the candy, they became joyful. Eating the candy allowed them to fly in the sky. They played above the clouds, singing songs and dancing. However, the magic of the candy was short-lived. After 10 minutes, the children would descend back to the ground. Yet, every day, they gathered in front of Lily's house, waiting for her magical candy. One day, an evil witch came to the village. She wanted to steal Lily's magical candy. Lily, along with the children, devised a plan to stop the witch. The children ate the magical candy and soared into the sky, surprising the witch. Lily used this opportunity to chase the witch out of the forest. After the witch left, peace returned to the village. The children were grateful to Lily. They sang and danced with her in joy. The villagers regarded Lily as a hero. Thanks to Lily's magical candy, they experienced happiness every day. Lily brought smiles and joy to everyone. Repeat after me. In a small village, there lived a fairy named Lily. In a small village, there lived a fairy named Lily. In a small village, there lived a fairy named Lily. Lily had the ability to make special candies. Lily had the ability to make special candies. Lily had the ability to make special candies. These candies held magical powers. These candies held magical powers. These candies held magical powers. Every morning, Lily would make candies in her little house in the woods. Every morning, Lily would make candies in her little house in the woods. Every morning, Lily would make candies in her little house in the woods. The candies were rainbow colored. The candies were rainbow colored. The candies were rainbow colored. Lily gave these candies to the children of the village. Lily gave these candies to the children of the village. Lily gave these candies to the children of the village. When the children ate the candy, they became joyful. When the children ate the candy, they became joyful. When the children ate the candy, they became joyful. Eating the candy allowed them to fly in the sky. Eating the candy allowed them to fly in the sky. Eating the candy allowed them to fly in the sky. 
They played above the clouds, singing songs and dancing. They played above the clouds, singing songs and dancing. They played above the clouds, singing songs and dancing. However, the magic of the candy was short-lived. However, the magic of the candy was short-lived. However, the magic of the candy was short-lived. After 10 minutes, the children would descend back to the ground. After 10 minutes, the children would descend back to the ground. After 10 minutes, the children would descend back to the ground. Yet, every day, they gathered in front of Lily's house. Yet, every day, they gathered in front of Lily's house. Yet, every day, they gathered in front of Lily's house. Waiting for her magical candy. Waiting for her magical candy. Waiting for her magical candy. One day, an evil witch came to the village. One day, an evil witch came to the village. One day, an evil witch came to the village. She wanted to steal Lily's magical candy. She wanted to steal Lily's magical candy. She wanted to steal Lily's magical candy. Lily, along with the children, devised a plan to stop the witch. Lily, along with the children, devised a plan to stop the witch. Lily, along with the children, devised a plan to stop the witch. The children ate the magical candy and soared into the sky, surprising the witch. The children ate the magical candy and soared into the sky, surprising the witch. The children ate the magical candy and soared into the sky, surprising the witch. Lily used this opportunity to chase the witch out of the forest. Lily used this opportunity to chase the witch out of the forest. Lily used this opportunity to chase the witch out of the forest. After the witch left, peace returned to the village. After the witch left, peace returned to the village.
After the witch left, Peace returned to the village. The children were grateful to Lily. The children were grateful to Lily. The children were grateful to Lily. They sang and danced with her in joy. They sang and danced with her in joy. They sang and danced with her in joy. The villagers regarded Lily as a hero. The villagers regarded Lily as a hero. The villagers regarded Lily as a hero. Thanks to Lily's magical candy. Thanks to Lily's magical candy. Thanks to Lily's magical candy. They experienced happiness every day. They experienced happiness every day. They experienced happiness every day. Lily brought smiles and joy to everyone. Lily brought smiles and joy to everyone. Lily brought smiles and joy to everyone. First question. Where did Fairy Lily live? A. In a big city. B. In a small village. C. On a mountain. In a small village. Second question. What color were the candies that Lily made? A. Gold. B. Blue. C. Rainbow colored. Rainbow colored. Third question. Who wanted to steal Lily's magical candy? A. A kind Ouija. B. An evil witch. C. A curious bird. An evil witch.